So my son and I decided that we were going to do a curry tonight. Well, really, he's going to be doing the cooking. But we grow sorrel, and I grew this from seed. I probably started it this time last year, and it did really well in the garden all spring and summer and fall. And it is still putting up wonderful leaves. So I came out here to cut some for the curry dinner. And I just wanted to show you how well this grows through the winter. It's got really beautiful leaves, but this is a nice option for a winter green and it's a perennial green as well. And I found this little snake sunbathing, so I hope you can see it. Look at him, he's just basking in the sun. He's actually crossed quite a bit of grass since I ran to get my camera, but look at that. He's just a little snake. I'm sure he's not poisonous. He doesn't have a rattle or anything, but look, he's sliding through the grass, so I hope he doesn't get swooped up by some overhead predator. But look at, look at who I'm sharing the garden with. If you guys know what he is, he looks kind of like a really brownie green and I think he's just a, a regular little green garden snake that we have in, in Maryland. But there he goes. He really blends in. So these are the leaves I harvested. I just clipped off some of the younger, smaller leaves. I always think baby greens are just tastier and uh, less tough. So uh, these are what we're going to use in the curry dish tonight. I'm just going to soak them in water and store them in the fridge until they're ready to use. I also have some sorrel planted in this little corner here and it's it just has done well in both parts of the garden that I've had it in. Here's a nice little clump right here. Doing really well. These are full sun spots as well. It's, these are areas that get full sun. So I thought it might be fun to show you how we use the fresh sorrel from the garden. And here are the ingredients for the chicken curry dish that my son will be making. He is a terrific cook and he likes things spicy and his curry dishes are some of the best ones that he makes. So everything's been prepared and I'll show you what we're going to put in. Um, in tonight's recipe we've decided to use the fresh sorrel leaves. They're baby sorrel leaves that I picked straight from the garden in the middle of winter on a cold winter day. These are fantastic perennial greens that grow year round. So we are using them fresh today. Just as a side note, we have plenty of sorrel powder that we use on other recipes. These are just my dehydrated leaves that I have put in um, like a magic bullet type blender and made into powder. So I just wanted to show you that's something we have in our spice cabinet. But tonight he's going to be using the fresh sorrel leaves um, as he sautés things up. So this recipe includes some diced chicken, the fresh sorrel leaves, some canned white potatoes. We're cheating on that, but they're a nice soft consistency. And I do get the potatoes that don't have added sulfites. That is available. And as you can see, um, they're not needed. It's usually something added to prevent them from changing color. But they look great and they're nice and tender already. So those are going to be added. He's going to be sauteing things in olive oil using some bone broth. And he has a spice mix here, which is cayenne, ground cumin, and curry powder. Isn't that beautiful? And it smells so good. I wish you could be here to smell it. So once that gets cooking, it's going to be so fragrant and wonderful. And we have coconut milk here in the can and he will be adding garlic separately. Then we have chopped onions and some grated carrots. So here is the lineup. 
and I'll show you coming show you the recipe coming together now. These onions have been sauteing in the olive oil for about four minutes and they're looking quite translucent. So we're ready for the next step. Here comes the sorrel. It's been stored in the fridge just for a couple hours. Uh, I kept it in water to keep the leaves fresh and hydrate them a little bit too as well. And they're just going to go right in there and wilt. Now what the sorrel does is it adds a, a little bit of a bitterness and a tart flavor in the curry. And it's uh, a really great herb. It's considered more of an herb than a green. But it's amazing that we can have these fresh green leaves in the middle of winter. So it's a wonderful thing in the garden. I'm thrilled that we have, we have fresh greens. And now garlic is being added in, some garlic powder, quite a generous helping. And we're going to let those wilt down. Boy, it already smells so good. We just have the first few ingredients in there. And those will reduce quite a bit in size, but they're going to impart a really wonderful flavor. of the minced onions and the sorrel leaves and the garlic powder has been simmering for about three minutes and now we are going to proceed to the next step and add some more ingredients. Okay, the grated carrots are going to go in there. And here go the canned potatoes. You can pre-cook fresh potatoes if you have the time. But the starch water from the can is also going in. It's going to help serve to thicken up the sauce. So those ingredients are going to be mixed in. And he is chopping up those potatoes to smaller sizes. But they're already nice and tender. They're basically cooked but now they're going to soak up some of the nice spices that are going to be incorporated in this delicious curry. And here comes the coconut milk. And that has a certain amount of thickness to it as well. What's wonderful about curries, I think, is how saucy the dishes are. We'll be serving it over some rice that I've pre-cooked, and it's already been warmed. And here comes the spice mix of cayenne, cumin, and the last one being curry. The two there are two tablespoons of curry, so this is going to be quite a spicy dish. There we go. I'm going to mix it all together and let that simmer for a while. It smells really terrific, and the color is just beautiful. It's been brought up to a simmer again, and I would say it's been simmering for about five minutes. It's developed a really beautiful color, and the aroma is amazing. It's now time to add in the raw chicken, which has been diced. Now, um, curries can be completely vegetarian, and I think most curries are. We are adding chicken, but if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can omit this part and it's still going to be really flavorful. But we're going to cook that through. It's probably going to take about 10 minutes of simmering. They're quite small pieces, but uh, it has to be cooked completely through. And that is just going to pick up that really wonderful curry flavor. Boy, I am looking forward to this dinner tonight. And then our last ingredient is going to be some 
chicken bone broth. And again, you can use some vegetable broth if you'd rather have this as a vegetarian dish. Just a, just a splash, really, for flavor and to add to the sauce. But it's really thickened up nicely. And we're going to bring that up to a simmer and just let it go for about 10 more minutes. And I think we are going to be having an amazing dinner. And we'll leave that covered. Let it go until it's thoroughly cooked. I have to say, cooking a meal and using ingredients from your own garden, even though there's only one ingredient that we grew, has given me great satisfaction. It's just a really great feeling, especially when you've grown something from seed. So sorrel is really something I would recommend growing because I think year after year it's going to provide me with these wonderful leaves that we can use in our cooking. And there we go. I feel like I'm in an Indian restaurant. Isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to eat it. I wish my plant and garden friends were here to share it with us. But there you go, using sorrel in the kitchen. Thanks so much for tuning in.